some new developments tonight in the case of Elizabeth Johnson. This exclusive ABC 15 video shows her leaving the Perryville prison early this morning. Tonight we're getting much more insight into how she's feeling and Elizabeth Irwin is hearing from somebody new tonight in the case. And Elizabeth, anybody who followed this case knows the Smiths played a major role. Katie, if you believe Elizabeth Johnson, Tammy and Jack Smith were the ones who got her thinking about giving baby Gabriel up for adoption in the first place. Now, as we first told you last night, Jack Smith actually died just days before Elizabeth Johnson was released from prison. Tonight, his attorney is talking. It's very unfortunate. They're still looking into everything. Attorney Benjamin Taylor represented Jack Smith when he testified at his wife's trial back in 2012. Tammy Smith was found guilty for her role in the days and weeks leading up to the disappearance of eight-month-old Gabriel Johnson. Tammy Smith was um, charged with two felonies for interfering or trying to interfere with the adoption of um, Elizabeth Johnson's baby. Tammy served some time behind bars. Then she, Jack, and their two daughters moved up to the Payson area to start fresh. They just were just trying to move on with their lives. That plan took a tragic turn a few days ago when Jack Smith was in a single vehicle rollover on Highway 87 just south of Payson. He was treated and released from a local hospital, but then died from a heart attack at his home the next day. We're told the Payson Police Department is investigating his death. Yes, it is kind of ironic that um, he passed away the same week that Elizabeth Johnson is being released. ABC 15 cameras were rolling when Johnson had her first moments of freedom early Friday morning. Even last night, just minutes before we walked out of the prison, she was saying to me, Mark, I, I can't believe it's really going to happen. Finally, I'm going to get out of here. Four and a half years after her baby boy disappeared, Johnson gets a fresh start. Justice was served in this case. And Johnson's attorney says if Elizabeth had any idea where baby Gabriel was, it would be in her best interest to come forward and say, but he says she has no idea. As far as her future plans go, I spoke with her grandfather before he passed away last month, and he told me that Elizabeth had plans to start over in a new state to get a fresh start where nobody knows her. Yeah, we'll see if she does. Thanks, Elizabeth.